me on my own, putting it up. And so I don't want anybody to like think that Dr. H is the one promoting masturbation. He posted flyers suggesting an end to vaping with what you could call an alternative option. And tonight he's suspended. Good evening. I'm Samantha Jones. I'm Steve Savar. The teens flyer at a West County high school is a hot topic on social media tonight. Only News Force Kim St. Ange is talking with the teen. She's live at Parkway South High School in Manchester. Steve, tonight was opening night for the play, a midsummer's night dream here at Parkway South High School. Dylan Deering was supposed to be the lead in that play. Instead, he's at home and he's expected to be at home and not allowed back here at school for the next two weeks. This is the post and this is what it reads. Pleasuring yourself with vape, try masturbation instead. Masturbation alone or with a friend is a great safe alternative to vaping. Dylan Deering put up two of those inside the men's bathroom at Parkway South High School Tuesday. 100% a joke. The flyer has been circulating on the internet for at least a year. All Deering did was Photoshop on Parkway School's logo. In reality, it was an anti-vaping poster. It was just like not a real message. Two days after, I get caught in the office and they tell me that I've been suspended. Now his customized flyer is being shared across social media. Like I didn't mean for it to get this far. Um, I wasn't trying to like do anything wrong. I was just being a stupid kid. In this letter the principal sent to parents today, it says the flyer was intended to falsely impersonate the school and district and has caused a disruption to the school environment. Well, I think the penalty is a little bit harsh you know, for what he's done. It, it seems that because the social media took control and it got spread everywhere and some parents got upset that he's being penalized for that. Even worse, Dylan says, is not being able to perform in the school's play. Now our stage manager has to go on stage with a script and I could potentially also be kicked off of the improv team that I'm on. Parkway School says Dylan has received consequences consistent with a discipline policy, adding it's important to remain consistent. Other children who have done things I think are worse have been penalized less. And so I think that it's unfair in that sense that I don't think they are keeping it consistent. Dylan and his dad say they do not plan to appeal because they feel like the district has already made up its mind. Meanwhile, the Parkway School District did reach out to me saying leaders are really disappointed Dylan didn't get to be in the play tonight, but they're also very disappointed for the impact this has had on the other students in that play. Live tonight outside Parkway South High School, Kim St. Ange, News 4.